So this is part two of building our vertical vessel, V101 on page 205. Okay, if you haven't got this far, you may want to go back to the previous video, part one, uh, which shows goes through the steps of building this, this much. Okay, so uh, one thing that we didn't discuss in the last video is being aware of where your uh, origin point is of your equipment and the orientation and position and so on. So to get a visual mark of your uh, current element of the, the origin point, I, it's very easy to put pin 1 at CE. Okay, so while you're sitting at the equipment, just type this in, hit enter, and you can see it throws in a marker, pin 1, and this is at our origin point at the bottom of the vessel. Okay, we can also say Q pause of pin 1 shows us the position, or we can say Q pause of CE, which they're all the same point. Okay, Q pause stands for Q position. You also want to keep in fact, keep in mind the orientation of the equipment. This is very important, the orientation Y should always be north and Z should always be up. The reason being, if you ever get these out of whack by rotating an equipment or rotating a zone or a site and then you want to individually move a nozzle to a certain location, certain direction, and you've got this out of whack, then you're going to really be messed up. So you always want to be aware that your orientation is Y is north and Z is up at the equipment level. Okay, so let's go ahead. I want to add the base of this vessel and we're going to use the pull downs because we use syntax for our first, for what we did in the first video. So we're going to go ahead and use the pull downs for the base of our vessel. So we're going to hit create and look for primitives and you get this little menu that has all the different primitives that we can choose from. We want a cylinder in this case and here we're going to set the height. The book doesn't give us a height or a diameter so let's go ahead and say that it's two, inch, two inches tall. So you guys want to put two inches in here. I've got to use millimeters so I'm going to put that in. Our diameter, since our vessel is 4 feet, let's make the diameter 4 foot 6. So you all want to put 4 foot 6 in here. I'm going to do 1371.6. Okay, these we can ignore. We're going to say create. And if we zoom in, we can see that our new cylinder has been put at our origin point. So the center of the new cylinder is at the center of the origin point. And you can see that it's added a cylinder up here. Now with this menu, we can change the position. So we know that we want the bottom of the cylinder to be even with the bottom of the skirt. So we can change our up number here you all want to move it up one inch. I need to move it up 25.4. Okay, and you can see that it moves it up for us. So the bottom of our cylinder, of our base, is at the same point of the bottom of the skirt, which is perfect. That's what we want. By clicking next, it takes you back to your cylinder, I mean your primitive menu, where you can add your next primitive. In our case, we don't uh, we're not going to do that, we're just going to X out of it. Okay, so I want to go ahead and name this cylinder by typing in name, space, forward, slash, uh, and I want to be consistent with the names. Um, I'm just going to say V-101-Base. Okay, so if I need to find it quickly in the hierarchy, I can, I know I've already named it, so I know where it's at. Okay, 
So we're going to go ahead and add nozzle 5 now, which is at an angle. It's a little trickier than the other nozzles, so I want to that's what we're going to go over. When I do nozzles, I like to be in plan view, so I'm going to look down. Okay, so just like before, you want to make sure you're at the equipment level in the hierarchy. Either here or here, whichever is easier for you. And I'm going to create a nozzle. Okay, so we get this menu that should be familiar to you from the last two nozzles. Here we set our name, 01-V-101. And I want to be consistent and name it like I did the others. And 5. Here we set our type. Looking on our project, on nozzle schedule, we know it's a 300 pound, 10 inch. So here we set our 300 pound. This stays the same. This is where you change your bore. You guys are going to pick 10 inch. I've got to pick 254. So as we change these numbers, our spec ref gets set for us automatically. So you don't want to mess with that. Click Apply. It looks like nothing happens, but it did. Dismiss this. Okay, and we want to set the height here, which is equal to our nozzle projection. So in your case, that's 2 foot 8. Okay, so you want to write 2 foot 8 right here. I'm going to write 8, 12.8 in millimeters. Okay. Uh, we want to leave our east and north at zero, but let's go ahead and change our up amount to, by looking at our drawing, we can see that that nozzle is 40 feet off of the base. So you're going to want to type in 40 here, 40 feet, and I'm typing in millimeters. Okay, hit enter. And our orientation right now is north. Let's go ahead and leave that at north. And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, we hit apply. And I'm going to dismiss. Okay, so as you can see, it's placed a uh, nozzle N5 for us. And like all the other nozzles, the nozzles get placed with the P1, which is the face of the nozzle, at the center uh, origin the origin point. So it's very simple to move that. We want to move it the distance of our nozzle projection. So I'm going to say by north. You guys are going to say 2 foot 8. Okay. But I need millimeters, which is 812.8. Okay, which moves our nozzle, puts the end of our nozzle at our center point and uh, the face where we need it. The last thing we need to do is rotate the nozzle because if you look at your nozzle orientation, N5 is 45 degrees off of north. So very simple. I'm going to use syntax and you're going to want to write this down or uh, download. I've put a list of syntax on Blackboard for you guys. Um, you want to download that and this command I'm getting ready to use is on the first page and it's very handy. You're going to want to use it uh, often as you do PDMS. Okay, so I've, I'm telling it rotate, and that's what ROT stands for, rotate through THR. Pin 1, remember we set pin 1 at the origin, the center of the vessel. Rotate through pin 1. That's our axis point that we're rotating about in the down direction by 45. Okay, we're rotating through pin 1 about down by 45 degrees. I hit enter and you can see that our nozzle rotated for us. I'm going to hit F8 which changes to uh, our solid view. Then if we look north you can see our nozzle is in the correct elevation. And if we want to check that, you can uh, highlight N5 and say cue the pause. And your up amount should be 40 feet. Mine is in millimeters. And that's exactly what we need. And uh, 
that's it for this video. Oh, don't forget to save because that's nozzle is good, exactly where we want it.